The Rolls-Royce Phantom is heading out with a special edition. Um, if you plan on getting shot at, well, Mercedes-Benz has got you covered. And Bentley Mulsanne's us before Geneva, Erica. That's right. That's right. You know it. Plus, a BMW 8 Series Coupe? No one really knows. I'll fill you in. And it's hump day, folks. The middle of the week, where we check in with the hashtag FLD Army and see what they sent us for Friends Day Wednesday. Oh, that's real nice. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What's going on, everybody? I'm Derek D, and you're living in the fast lane, baby. Tune in to Fast Lane Daily. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, FYI, some people complain from time to time that we only talk about luxury vehicles. Listen, folks, we talk about any and all car news that's current at the time. Go back and watch previous episodes. We talk about everything. Just so happens that lately it's been pretty luxurious. That being said, including today's episode. I do remember <laughs> editing a bunch of Priuses or pre -I. Sure, I mean, you, so don't, you don't have happened. to explain. I'm just letting them know. <laughs> We know the Mercedes Maybach S600 is already a crazy luxurious vehicle with a lot of amenities for those who live the super rich lifestyle. But what happens when those people want to be super safe? Well, you could get the uh, bulletproof 2017 Mercedes Maybach S600 Guard. That's right. Ben said this Maybach S600 Guard is certified as the highest ballistic protection level vehicle VR10 for civilian ve uh, for civilian cars. What? <clears throat> Crazy. Looks pretty much the same as the standard Maybach, and duh, I mean it's supposed to, but it features a range of bullet and explosive proof materials like special steel uh, in the areas between the outer skin and the body structure. Just all kinds of things that help ensure protection. Why a regular civilian would need all this protection, I don't know. May mean something sketchy is going on, or you're just rich and very paranoid. Either way, you'll be protected from this. <laughs> ah. It's a lot of shooting. That's the best place to still the episode to yeah. your face. Yeah, it's the best place. Yep. Um, <laughs> as the current Phantom is approaching the end of its production life, Rolls-Royce is rolling out 50 special edition Zenith versions to commemorate that exit. So even though in November we'll see the very last Phantom Coupe and Drophead Coupe roll out of Goodwood, they'll be leaving in style. <laughs> Double R will also build the last Phantom 7 limousines this year and work on the 13-year-old limo's replacement as well. That's underway. Okay. Yeah. The Phantom Zenith Coupe and Drophead Coupe will include features like the tailgate hosting area. Notice it's called like a hosting area. Because everyone knows you tailgate with a Rolls Royce. Come on. America. America. There's laser etched armrests depicting the original launch locations of 100EX in Villa d'Este and 101EX in Geneva. Super custom classy instrument dials and a special treatment of the spirit of ecstasy. Hot. Yeah. You know, the lady in the front of every Rolls Royce that can go in and out. Remember we did that bit a couple years ago? The Rolls Royce versus the, the Rolls Royce Ghost versus Fiat 500. Which car I could pick up a chick's number quicker in? And I was like, "You want to see my spirit of ecstasy?" Yeah, that was a good <laughs> bit. Yeah. I was like, "You want to see my spirit of ecstasy?" <laughs> I wish I was there for that. Yeah, they were just. She was thinking I was saying something vulgar. I was just talking about the the winged woman yeah. on the front of the Rolls Royce. God, get her mind out of the gutter. Yeah, that's a great episode, by the way. We'll put the link in the description if you want to watch. Quality's a little crappy though, just letting you know. We've come a long way. Yeah, we've come a long way. Speaking of large and luxurious cars, the debut of the 2017 Bentley Mulsanne will be at the Geneva Motor Show. But we get to see it online first. And Maron, I mean, Maron is this thing dripping in luxury, huh? <laughs> I mean, just drippage. Bentley's updated top of the line car comes for the first time with an extended wheelbase. Um, model. Model, that's right. Not Modip. Not Modip, nope which offers 9.8 inches of extra rear legroom for its big wig passengers. Airline style extending leg rests and a rear sunroof for their maximum pleasure. I mean, that black interior with the gold accents is aces if you ask me though. Then you have the Mulsanne Speed, which throws down 530 horsepower and a whopping 811 pound feet of torque. That's right, Erica. Zero invests in 60s stock. 
in just 4.9 seconds with the top speed rated at the most comfortable 190 miles per hour on the market. That's a comfy 190. Very comfy. Ch -ch -ch Chugging right along here on that luxury flagship model train. We have the BMW 8 Series, which is set for a big return because they want to battle the Mercedes S-Class Coupe and the Bentley Continental GT. It will show up in the year 2020. But BMW doesn't know if they want it to be a classic, you know, classic two-door coupe with a convertible counterpart or a four-door coupe. Apparently, it's all a big secret inside BMW. So we'll see what BMW Chairman Harold Kruger has to say with the final decision. In related news, Freddy Kruger, his third cousin once removed, said something along the lines of, fall asleep and I'll make your final decision for you. Oh, damn. Yeah, that was, I, I don't really do a Freddy Krueger impression, but hey. No. Um, let's hang out with some FLD fans for Friends Day Wednesday, shall we? We shall. Should we get right into it, Erica? Yep. All right. First up, we have FLD fan Nick Mates, who watches FLD on dual screens, two episodes at once. Nice. Nice. He was also at the Chicago Auto Show. Here he is with the lovely Megan, of course. All right. Also, when he was vacationing in Romania, he saw a Datsun filled with watermelons. As you do. They are delicious. Yeah. Uh, speaking of the Chicago Auto Show, Miguel Angel, <laughs> Miguel Angel Del Rosario Ramirez. It's a long, fun name. Yep. Uh, is testing out the rugs over by the Nissan Winter Warrior. He looks very comfy. Or dead. It's comfy. I'm going to say a deep sleep. Yeah, I'm going to say a deep sleep. Um, Mac, pros <laughs> Mac Prosalidus. Uh, Mac Prosalidus. I probably said the last name wrong, man. I'm sorry. Uh, he was there, too, over at Ram, and he threw some hammers back there. He also checked out the rugs at Acura. How were they? Looked nice. Looked comfortable. Yeah. A lot of people doing the Derek D on the rugs. <laughs> that sounds dirty. <laughs> at the auto shows, it does. Of course, we, of course we see people who want to make their cars like the Batmobile, right? We've seen that tons of times. But FLD fan Amanda Glennon here, she spotted Riddler's car. Yeah, ironically, apparently he drives a Pontiac Grand Prix. Yeah, riddle me that. Yeah. Yeah. Nicola Prius is back on Friends Day Wednesday again. Wow. Two times in a row. She said she was just chilling at home, so she took a selfie with me on the big screen. Nice. I'm talking about FLD ladies representing today. Uh, Paul Richards, he didn't take this picture, but he sent it in. It's a huge wave runner in the back of this Toyota pickup. Now that's C doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Throw some C do's back there. It's like huge. It's like way, it looks bigger than the truck. Wow. A little optical illusion there, but still. Yeah. Hey, a Geo Metro SS, huh? Huh? Didn't know they made those in Super Sport trim. They don't. That's the problem. But thanks to uh, Ishwinder here for that one. Um, FD fan John Mentado uh, taking a selfie. Nice. He saw this Dodge Accord RT. Hmm. It leads me to ask, what's the goal here? Like, what do you, what do you, what's your motive? What's your plan? Why would you take a Honda Accord and put a Dodge, say Dodge, and then the RT, and then the Ram badge? A Kaj? A Kaj? Yep. yep. Terrible. Uh, ben Decker snapped a pic of this truck. America. And also, throw some hammers back there. I mean, you just have to. Yeah. Paint jobs a little, you know, give yeah. you some work. Uh, speaking of, here's a custom America grill on this car. Fine. Cool with me. Looks more like a gate. Uh, Troy, uh, Troy sent that in. Not even going to try that last name. Nope. Sorry, dude. Not going to do it to myself. Troy. Thanks. Uh, FLD fan Stacy Lucas here. Saw this, Mits saw this Mitsubishi Mirage. Close. Oh, so close. <laughs> it wanted to be a Mirage so bad, <laughs> but could only be a Mar Mirage. Yeah, yeah. Mar Marge Simpson. Just like Marge Simpson. She's not happy about that. Uh, lastly, we have Rob Boss. Boss. Hart. <laughs> Rob Boss Hart. Cool. Uh, he and his son Jack here. Uh, are big fans of the show. Here's Jack doing a little carding. Nice. I'm told it's Jack's eighth birthday this weekend. So just want to say, happy birthday, buddy. Appreciate you watching the show. Thank you. And uh, thanks to all the fans. Appreciate you guys sending that stuff in. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. 
Hashtag FLD Army, nice. Um, so we talked about that bulletproof Maybach earlier. So our FLD question of the day is, do you think all cars should eventually be made with bulletproof windows? Because I guess you never know. Sure. I don't know. Maybe, I mean, technology will advance so much that just like regular thin glass will be, I mean, I think we already have that actually, but it's probably expensive to put in cars. I don't know. Just throwing it out there. Hashtag FLDQ of the D. You can send your own in too. Tips at FastLaneDaily.com. Thank you and well, that is going to do it for Fastlane Daily today. I'm Derek D. Thanks for watching everybody. You take her easy, all right? I'm watching you. Take her easy. Take her easy. Hey, take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Hey, take it easy. <laughs> and Bentley Mulsanne's, uh, uh, oh, you screwed up. But what's that say? Bentley Mulsanne's us before? Hey, before the show, we were on Periscope live right here, and everyone that was watching saw us do the intro live. So if you'd like to do that, uh, join in next Wednesday. Just follow me on Periscope, the Derek D. Nice and simple. It's fun. You get to see it live. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Well, do it live! Do it! Just the intro. Ow, we're living in the fast lane, baby.